Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. So I got to respond to this because uh, the other day I posted a reaction video to Nor Trades and I titled it Day in the Life of a Stock Trader with a little line, Easy Money. And, you know, in that video, it's just kind of light riffing. It's all in good fun. I mean, I've never met the guy. Uh, I don't watch his videos. So everything I do when I watch these videos is just based on a first glance. But uh, guess what, guys? Uh, Nor Trades responded to me. And I I'm not going to waste this opportunity not to react to his reaction to myself to see what he has to say in his uh, rebuttal. Rebuttal. So with that said, if you appreciate the uh, lighthearted internet drama, just make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. And now with that said, Let's begin. Such serious music. Like, what am I stepping into here? I'm, I'm kind of nervous, actually, what he's going to say. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. This one's actually a little bit different than, you know, the usual videos. I'm actually doing a reaction video of a reaction video of my own video. So... <laughs> So I'm reacting to him, reacting to me, reacting to him. This is YouTube, guys. This is what I call the infinite monetization loop. Then he could react to me, reacting to him, reacting to me, reacting to him. I don't know. I'm lost already. But anyway, this could continue for a while. You guys may know who this is or should know. He does a lot of real estate, I believe. Uh, Graham Stephan. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I actually pronounced it correctly. That is rare. Most people are like, Graham Stevens. Graham, Graham Stevenson. <laughs> what? There's, there's no, like, it's Stefan. It's like, even the Steven. Like, I, okay, I can get that. But people call me, like, Graham Stevens. I'm like, there's not even an S. Like, where did that S come from? So, you know what? He pronounced my name correctly. So, I'll give him that. You know, he's like old school, doesn't really know what he's doing. <laughs> Love how 32 all of a sudden is old school. I feel old school, let me tell you. In uh, YouTube world, I am ancient like to have a 30 year old who's making youtube videos still man i go i go to most of these events and everyone is like 20 21 22 like uh 23 are kind of topping out on the social media it's it's wild everyone it's like i am just i'm i, I am old okay so he's right on that one too i know he makes a lot of money whether it's from youtube um and other things and then he puts it into real estate and etfs i guess uh so yeah he definitely does have some money let's Let's watch the video and we'll go over a few things that he did say that didn't really make any sense. All right, yeah. So it's interesting that uh, that money online is is directly correlated to credibility. So the more money you have, automatically the more credibility you're, you're assumed to have. It's kind of true. But uh, you know what? Another thing that helps is experience. And I just think uh, the more experience you have, regardless of money, uh, the more wisdom you bring to the table. So uh, that's my response to that. Really interesting one for you today because uh, for anyone who likes the movie The Wolf of Wall Street or any of those like stock trading, you know, fast life, fast cars sort of videos. We got this, a day in the life of a multi-millionaire trader from uh, Nor Trades. Ah, uh, the audio's not synced up. You could at least have synced up the audio. Chances are, uh, my video is playing through another software and it's just like showing to him faster than what's showing on the screen. Uh, that could be fixed. A lot of, you know, allegations after this, is this uh, interview with Andrew Hales. And so I thought it would be fun. Let's By the way, he's talking about the Andrew Hales video where I was the only uh, person to ever come on his show and live trade with a real account and screen record and he was there to watch it. That is true. I will give him that. Uh, I forget the outcome. I actually, did he make or lose money? Let's find out right now. Okay, now with Andrew Hills, he did make money, but also it's that was a time as well where everything was going up. I mean, I invested with, with a blindfolded monkey, essentially, who randomly picked stocks out of a container, and that made 40%. So it's like 2020 was this anomaly year, and 2021 as well, where everything just went up. So it looked like he bought in, sold out shortly afterwards. He did make a profit. So I will give him that. It opens with this. So let me get this. Like, like I can't imagine any serious investor just like going and doing this at three o'clock in the morning. So and throughout the video, he compares me to Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and Jeff Bezos. Is that a compliment? Don't you think that would be such a, like, to put your name next to Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, and, and Bill Gates? I mean, that that's an honor. I mean, if people compare me at all to any one of the three, I'm like, no, I don't belong over No, no, they're like, the royalty. Let's see what he has to say. He's comparing me to Warren Buffett, who still drives a 1994 or 1956 Lincoln every day to work, and he stops by McDonald's, right? So... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's funny. It's funny though, but you know, you know what's also funny? I also have a Volvo. It's a 2006 Volvo S60 with 115,000 miles on it. So uh, yeah, I probably relate more to Warren Buffett. It doesn't really make sense. Like I, I, I respect that he's comparing me to, you know, to these billionaires, but it's not making any sense, right? But it goes to show you that these guys have wisdom. I mean, they have decades and decades and decades of investing experience through every situation imaginable versus someone who has, uh, you know, really uh, been prolific over the last few years where just, you know, stimulus money was pouring in and we're, at, you know, at the late stages of a bull market there. One thing I'm going to name or, or point out, he's wearing a watch that looks like he got it from a kiosk from his local mall, right? Um, on the other hand, you know, I make smart investments. All of my watches. You know what that is? It's a 1969 Zenith El Primero A386. It is one of the most historically significant watch. Oh, I'm actually wearing it now. One of the most historically significant watches out there. Um, so, I mean, if you want to do your research on the watch, uh, by all means. But this was the watch that started off the movement for the Rolex Daytona. This was the first self-winding chronograph that was ever made. And Zenith makes fantastic watches. It was so good, in fact, that Rolex used the movement. But, uh, you know, I digress. Um, it's not as nice as his uh, iced out AP. Oh, gosh. It's, uh, it's not like you see those every day, huh? Huh? He only knows, like, one type of investing, which I kind of get. Stick to what you know. But, like, he always tries to, like wiggle his nose into things that he doesn't really understand. So we're going to go over a few things he said about stocks that was hilarious. Uh, but you'll see what I'm talking about as the video goes on. Yeah, maybe I should ice it out. W what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the uh, comment section if I should ice this out and make it bling. Uh, so that, that way I could be one of the cool kids. Uh, I'm too old to know what's going on right now. I'll admit that. Imagine Warren Buffett doing this, just sitting with all of his buddies like Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates throwing hundred dollar bills at each other. Oh my God, like, there's no humility here. It's just like, you know that's someone's money on the floor, right? Like someone paid him money. I don't someone paid me money to go to the strip club. Makes a lot of sense. No, someone paid you money for one of your programs or for the stock trading courses or, or the, the alerts that you send out. And then you take that money and then could throw it. I mean, I'm not being literal here, but in, in essence, there's, there's gotta be s someone's money. Like, is someone's $1 bill there that you got from, you know, a program. And, and listen, it, it's not their place to, t it's not my place either to tell you how to spend the money. I just think it's kind of funny, you know? By the way, he sips on the same coffee. It's about this much the whole video, uh, and it doesn't move at all. So just keep that in mind as well. <laughs> it's funny, I'm, I'm, you have no idea how much is in this though. It could be full or it could be in that much. It's actually, that's, that's a great observation. I actually never even noticed. You just, you just show your winning trades, like guessing a... So the first thing he says is I only show my winning trades, which if you follow me on Instagram, you would notice I post my whole monthly routine and live logins, which I'm one of the only ones. So you can say whatever you want, but... He clearly isn't paying any attention to that. So let's Your continue. Be like, oh, it's the funniest part is he says I don't show any tra any losing trades, but watch what I do right after this. Oh, I mean, the thing is, everything I say is kind of, it, it should be taken with, with a strong grain of salt for the sake of satire, for the sake of comedy. Don't take anything I say here on the channel too literally. I mean, maybe take it like 15%, like that's what I mean, but 85%. You know, it's it's fun. It's funny. Also, how do you not know that he's not just sending this off to his 5,000 people on Discord and they're causing the price to do whatever he predicts? So he clearly doesn't know what he's talking about the stock, a stock market. He just said, what if I'm sending it to my chat and I'm causing the price to push up because of all the members in my chat? Now, if he was educated enough, what obviously he's not, as we go through the video, he's clearly not educated on the different types of investments, which I only... Well, not only, but I only do options with my chat, right? Options have no justice on the stock price. No matter what stock, penny stock, it doesn't matter how low float this stock is. What? How is... No. All right, so I could definitely read up on this for probably what looks to be 30 to 60 minutes, but my understanding is that when you're buying or selling an options contract, the market maker is essentially hedging against it by purchasing the opposite of it to be able to balance out the trade. So in essence, buying options shouldn't have a direct impact on the stock's price. However, buying an excessive amount of options could influence indirectly the stock's price through the market maker. So again, 
I should probably spend a good hour researching, but for the purposes of this video, we'll continue. Let's continue. He talks about my driving. Solid. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna go anyway. All right, dude. Same like <laughs> He doesn't even address it. There's all right, dude. All right, you got me on that one. Paris, uh, and then. Just like, I don't know. It's an <laughs> <laughs> it could be new internet. You know, it, it, it seems like my, my screen is lagging so much here. Yeah, in this market, all they have to do is just pick a stock, short it, and be like, all right. All they have to do is pick a stock, short it, and then be like, all right. Well, he's not doing that, so clearly it's not that easy, right? No, I'm not doing that. He, he got me right on that one. I'm just buying index funds. He changed the, the songs. The songs that I put in my vlog uh, is just copyrighted, so you don't get paid for the video. He clearly wants to get paid for the video. He's worried about uh, they just like made 200 money. bucks. Yeah, I don't want my video copyright striked like 20,000 different times and then the YouTube algorithm doesn't promote the video. I mean, we could see very clearly that uh, the more copyrighted music you tend to put in a video, you know, it doesn't do as well. So why am I going to leave money on the table as a good businessman? Why would I just leave your music in there when it takes like five minutes to take it out to make like 500 bucks? Right? For, some, for someone who cares so much about, uh, you know, buying fancy stuff, that, that's how you do it. That's how you're able to buy fancy stuff. You, you gotta pay attention to all the details like this. Take out the uh, copyrighted music. I have to go in a group of eight and drive like eight separate cars to go I'm sorry you don't have friends? <laughs> yeah, man. That, that's the thing. If, if I, man, if I had more friends, I would be, uh, Driving eight cars too, spending all my money. But uh, thankfully, because I don't have any friends, I could save it all and invest all of it. And it's wonderful to be able to sip on the same coffee now for like 20 minutes. This sort of marketing strategy wouldn't work on probably 95% of the people. You marketing know, strategy, it's literally just my this life. Is a great way to, uh, this is my life, day in the life. Well, I film it. Then what's the point of filming it? You may as well. You're, you're trying to attract an audience from filming. Just like you're saying that that I you know change the music for monetization purposes. Absolutely. But if it's your life, then what's the purpose of, of putting it out there on YouTube and hiring editors to go and put this all together and follow you around? I know it's your life. I mean, I believe it. But at the same time, it's it's got to be leveraged somehow. You're smart as well. So in which way are you leveraging this? And it's by filming it, by putting it up online and reaching a bigger audience. I would much rather just be like, hey, uh, gonna chill and just watch. Uh... Oh, shut your old. Like, you're so, like, I'd much rather be at home watching Netflix with my dog. Like, dude, we get it. You're like 40, bro. I'm 22. And I've, you know what I mean? Like, he probably didn't create wealth till he was like 30, 35 or whatever, so he was. I don't know, uh, 30, 35, not even 35, 32. Um, I would say at, at what point it really started ramping up for me was probably about 25, 26. Um, and listen, I had my, uh, my party days, <laughs> but uh, you know, it, it definitely dissipates over time. I, I listen, I, I know he has a point, he's 22, I'm 32. He's got a great point on that. At 22, with access to that many resources, that much money, most people will probably take the, the route that he's going. I mean, let's be real here. But, uh, you know, I'm the old guy just sitting in front of the house telling kids to get off his lawn. The older I get, the more I just like, yeah, that guy's got a point. Let's just skip there. Let's get boring. He's skipping you all the good parts. Why is everything, he clearly loves Warren Buffett. We trapped tonight, man. Yo, He's Bill, 90 man, years old. I did when I was like five years old. Uh, but uh, right, bro, we get it. You're you know 40. You're 35 years ago. 35 years ago when I was five, I'd maybe 40. Do I look 40? Oh gosh, if I, we got problems if, if I look 40. Or you know what, I hope I look like this when I'm 40. If I did, I, I would be happy with that too. Video made no sense, comparisons, comparisons made no sense. Uh, you know, just because someone doesn't live the same lifestyle. I'm 22, I'm gonna enjoy my life, I'm gonna travel the world, and then when I turn 25, maybe I'll be a complete different person. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I, I enjoy my life, I work hard for it. Uh, I have a lot of people who depend on me, a lot of people on my team that are enjoying life because of me, so I'm gonna enjoy every step of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah, you know what? It's a good ending to this, and uh, he has a point. And sometimes when I say things on camera, it's really difficult 
I think. For some people to tell the difference between like sarcasm, satire, and like me being like dead serious. So in these videos, it's supposed to be just lighthearted, uh, you know, everything just for, for comedic purposes. You know, it's funny to riff back and forth, but uh, overall, you know what, he's got a good point. 22 years old, most people would be doing exactly as he is. I'm a dinosaur though, I drive a Volvo, and I got a an old watch. It's about that time, it's 3 p.m., so I'm gonna be, uh, you know, going to bed early, having dinner, uh, watching Netflix, and uh, hanging out with the dog. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure, by the way, to subscribe, hit the like button. Thank you so much, and until next time.